Ruth Jo Simons joins me now to unpack her new book, Beholding and Becoming. And I want to talk to you about purpose today. You talk about this in the book, that we all kind of have this need to answer this question, why was I born? Yeah. Why do we have that need? Where does that come from? Well, we want our lives to matter. We want to know why I have to go through the heartaches of the day in, day out. Why should I get up tomorrow morning and press on through all the things that are really hard about our everyday lives? We're no, no one's living that glamorous life that we think everybody else is living on Instagram. <laughs> everybody but us. No, right. And so I think purpose helps us realize where we're going. You have to have the right sight to know where is it that you're heading because where you're where you're aiming for and where you're going will make all the difference for the next steps you take. So you think about this, that everybody basically in the world wants to know why they're here, but then if you're a person who has faith in a higher being, we, we call it faith in Jesus, faith yes. in God, then it's even more complicated because now it's like, what did you have in mind when you created me? Right. What is your purpose for me? Right. So and now what is not, all this for? Yes. Like what happens at the end of all this? I'm working really hard. Is it ultimately to have a lot of money in the bank? Is it ultimately to have this huge house? Or even maybe it's a good thing like leave a legacy. Those are beautiful things. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, as a believer, I believe that my purpose is that I get to stand before my father and give an account for everything I did with my life. And I want that to count for something that's not gonna burn and fade and go away. And so knowing what that, what lasts and outlasts my life, that has to be, that's the defining purpose. Mm. And you think about this, um, I think people can get really wrapped up in this, like trying to find God's will for my life mm. can almost wrap you up in a different way because everything has to matter and everything has to count, everything has to have eternal value, and that's all true. Mm -hmm. But how do you how do you figure that out? How do you answer that question as a person of faith? Well, the Bible is a little bit more more simple than we give it credit for. We're told that it's God's will that we be sanctified, that we ultimately be made His and be made different. And so being sanctified really just means that we would be shaped into what we were originally created for. We were originally created to have a relationship with him, to bear his image, to bring him glory, and sin messed that up. And so ultimately, to be sanctified is not so fancy, it's not so theological and spiritual as much as it's just simply, our purpose is that we would know our creator, be restored back to him, and to be in his presence. And that purpose makes everything else fall into place. I love how the Bible says two things, love God, love others. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot so simpler. complicated. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing just the beautiful thoughts in this book, Beholding and Becoming. I absolutely loved it. I know it's gonna bless your life. Here's how you can get your copy.